A man found peculiar round spots on his fingers, prompting concern from doctors who escalated the situation by involving the authorities. Mark's initial reaction to discovering the strange holes in his thumb was sheer panic. He couldn't fathom what might have caused them or the potential risks they posed, seeking answers. He rushed to the doctor that very afternoon. However, instead of providing clarity, the doctor's response only heightened Mark's anxiety. After a brief examination and some tests, the doctor hastily summoned the police, leaving Mark bewildered and abandoned. With the doctor's abrupt departure, Mark's fear intensified, feeling trapped and desperate for answers. He resorted to force, breaking out of the room to confront the doctors. Only then did the doctor reluctantly explain the unsettling discovery, causing Mark to collapse in shock. The mystery of the holes in Mark's fingers and the involvement of the police left him reeling with confusion and apprehension. Mark's morning had started like any other, oblivious to the impending turmoil. As a 40-year-old single man, he had hopes for a promising date, though past experiences had left him weary. Despite his efforts to impress, the encounter with the woman he met online didn't unfold as expected. With doubts lingering, Mark couldn't shake the feeling that this rendezvous might end in disappointment just like the others before it. The next morning, uncertainty clouded Mark's thoughts, unsure of what was unfolding. He hesitated to involve anyone else, especially without understanding the situation himself. The discovery on his thumb was beyond peculiar. Initially, it throbbed with discomfort, but upon closer inspection, Mark's alarm intensified. The sight of tiny holes embedded in his skin sent shivers down his spine, igniting a wave of fear. His mind raced with possible explanations. Perhaps an insect had bitten him during the night, or worse, burrowed into his flesh. However, online research yielded no reassuring answers. The more Mark examined his thumb, the more it confounded him. These were no ordinary punctures. There was something lurking within them. Determined to take action, Mark contemplated using tweezers to extract whatever foreign object lay beneath his skin. However, apprehension gnawed at him. What if his DIY approach worsened the situation? Despite his aversion to doctors, Mark grudgingly acknowledged the necessity of seeking professional help, though he preferred self-reliance. The severity of the situation left him with no choice but to reluctantly consider a visit to the doctor. Recognizing the severity of the situation, Mark made the decision to seek professional help and promptly called his doctor. The doctor's office arranged a semi-urgent appointment for that same afternoon, reassuring him that he would be seen by day's end at the latest. Meanwhile. The doctor advised Mark to reflect on any recent changes or unusual occurrences that might have triggered his condition, as it could provide valuable insight into the underlying cause. When Mark pondered over the past week, he struggled to identify anything out of the ordinary. Recalling a hike he took through the forest a few days prior, he considered the possibility of encountering something hazardous during the excursion. However, the popularity of the trail and the absence of similar symptoms in others made it an unlikely culprit. Dismissing it as a potential cause, Mark continued to search for answers. His lifestyle appeared mundane, revolving around occasional hikes and visits to the local coffee shop while working from home. However, a realization struck him. The recent date he went on was anything but ordinary. Engaging in online conversations with the woman for some time, Mark had eagerly anticipated the meeting hoping it would lead to a meaningful connection. However, the encounter took an unexpected and unsettling turn throughout the date. Mark couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. The woman's demeanor oscillated between disinterest and intermittent displays of engagement, leaving him perplexed, reflecting on their interactions. Mark questioned her motives for reaching out to him in the first place, scrutinizing their past messages for clues. When Mark reflected further, doubts about the woman from the date surfaced, he couldn't shake the feeling that she harbored disdain for him, and he questioned whether she could be somehow involved in his current predicament. However, upon closer consideration, he couldn't discern any plausible connection between her and the mysterious holes in his thumb. They hadn't engaged in any physical contact, and neither had reached out to the other since their encounter. If she were responsible for his condition, wouldn't she have shown some indication of guilt or involvement by now? Mark found himself grappling with uncertainty as he prepared for his appointment. When he drove to the doctor's office, Mark's mind continued to race, 
but he found no conclusive answers, fortunately, the condition of his thumb seemed relatively stable, with the holes only slightly enlarging and becoming more noticeable, upon arrival, Mark took a moment in his car to gather his thoughts before entering the office, despite his efforts, he couldn't summon any additional insights, once inside the waiting room, Mark's condition drew significant attention from other patients, the conspicuousness of the holes in his thumb sparked, curiosity and concern among those around him, diverting attention away from their own medical issues despite the unexpected spotlight, Mark remained oblivious until the growing interest of others became impossible to ignore, children were particularly intrigued, though their parents restrained their curiosity, it seemed as though everyone in the room had forgotten their own ailments, captivated by the mystery of Mark's condition amidst the commotion, the doctor emerged to call the next patient, prompting a collective consensus that Mark should be seen first, though taken aback by the unexpected attention, Mark expressed gratitude to those who advocated for him, acknowledging the gravity of his situation compared to others present, it was a matter of concern, but surely he could wait, however, the doctor disagreed, once inside the office, the doctor had the chance to properly examine Mark's thumb, and what he found shocked him, it was unlike anything he had ever seen before, and he was certain he would remember such a peculiar case, this was not the kind of thing one easily forgets, furthermore, it wasn't even documented in his medical textbooks, he was completely perplexed realizing that this required immediate attention, the doctor quickly made arrangements for his other patients to be seen by colleagues on call, Mark's condition demanded priority, determined to find a solution, the doctor ordered tests for Mark as they waited for the results, he scrutinized Mark's thumb, closely, the unsettling discovery was that although Mark had initially experienced pain, his thumb was now completely numb, even when pressed, there was no sensation, this lack of sensation was concerning, indicating a potentially serious issue, despite his efforts, the initial test results proved disappointing, there were still more tests to consider, but they would require Mark's consent and a significant investment of time, Mark agreed to proceed with the tests, understanding the gravity of the situation, in the meantime, while awaiting results, the doctor, still at a loss, decided to share images of Mark's thumb on a medical forum in hopes of finding answers, Mark, feeling the need for a break, excused himself to the restroom, during his absence, the doctor received a private message on the forum, it held both promise and dread, another doctor had encountered a similar condition before, and the implications were dire, if action wasn't taken swiftly, it could escalate into a significant problem for everyone involved. Especially Mark, when the doctor absorbed the message, he understood the urgency of the situation, moments later, the awaited test results arrived, marking a crucial juncture in their quest for answers, it made him feel really cold, the other physician had been correct, after Mark's doctor unexpectedly left his office, things seemed to get out of hand, Mark looked even worse when he came back from the restroom, the odd holes were growing larger and more sinister, moving toward the remainder of his hand, though he was plagued by fear, he knew he had to locate the physician, but there was a problem, when Mark got back, the doctor was nowhere to be seen, Mark heard a disturbance behind him while he was thinking of what to do next, he was horrified to see that the door he had just been through was suddenly shut from the outside, imprisoning him, he felt a wave of panic that was heightened when the doctor said that the police had been contacted, what was taking place, he begged for answers. But no one would speak with him, his anxious questions went unanswered when the physicians and nurses got caught up in hasty chats, Mark was told to keep his cool until the police arrived, but that advice didn't really help him cope with his mounting fear, he was even more concerned after witnessing the staff's agitated response to his thumb, why was everything so very wrong, was he going to die soon, a plethora of ideas rushed through his head, making him feel more and more anxious, Mark became increasingly impatient as his terror turned to frustration, why were they not telling him the truth, desperate to get out, he kicked at the door when he had nowhere else to go, the physicians on the other side begged him to stop, but Mark was too focused on his desire to escape, after several forceful kicks, the door finally gave way, swinging open abruptly, the scene that greeted him was one of chaos and horror, with the people on the other side screaming in shock, Mark stood there, panting, heavily, caught between relief and his newfound freedom and apprehension at the pandemonium he had unleashed, though forcing the door open hadn't been easy, Mark needed answers badly, someone needed to explain the situation, 
and they needed to do it right away. Mark's doctor quickly gave the order for everyone else to stay away and told Mark to stay put since he shouldn't risk getting too near to anyone at this point in his recovery. Mark could see how serious his predicament was by the look of concern on his doctor's face, but Mark remained unwavering in the face of the foreboding atmosphere, he was adamant that he wouldn't go until they gave him the information he required, three armed officers burst into the building before Mark's doctor could say anything, all eyes focused on Mark, the doctor gestured to Mark as terrified shouts overwhelmed his words, Mark felt dizzy with shock as all three cops pointed their weapons at him, what the heck's going on, when the cops were closing in on him, Mark cried out and raised his hands in surrender, his eyes were practically full of tears as he begged them to tell him the truth, Mark was told to remain back by the officers as soon as they saw how many holes had sprung up in his thumb, which now stretched almost halfway over his hand, speaking in a more composed manner, one of the cops told Mark that they would explain everything, but that he had to be isolated right away, Mark reluctantly accepted their requirements, but he made it plain that he would not think twice about taking extreme means to obtain the information he so desperately needed, terrified, and left in the dark, Mark returned to the doctor's office, where he found himself alone behind closed doors, observing the staff entering with heavy-duty cleaning supplies, he watched when they meticulously sanitized every surface imaginable, finally, the doctor emerged to disclose the unsettling truth, apologizing for the earlier secrecy, the doctor explained that he had been terrified, encountering a person with a virulent flesh-eating virus was an unprecedented event, necessitating protocols he had never before encountered, but there was more to the story, delving into the events preceding Mark's ordeal, they discussed his recent hike and subsequent date, fortunately, the bad date wasn't the culprit, instead, it was likely that Mark had come into contact with an infected plant during his autumn excursion, however, pinpointing the exact plant remained elusive. Mark recounted the details of his hike to both the police and his doctor, hoping it might provide some insight into his predicament. The uncertainty weighed heavily on Mark's mind as he pondered his treatment options. Would the hospital have the necessary medications to combat the virus, or was he destined to lose his hand to its relentless onslaught? Fortunately, the hospital possessed the required medication, but it came with a caveat Mark would need to undergo a period of isolation. The Involvement of the police added another layer of complexity to the situation, their interest stemmed from the need to discuss Mark's hike, yet their reaction upon encountering him outside his isolation room only exacerbated the chaos, amidst the turmoil, ensuring that no one else fell victim to the same fate became a paramount concern, safely transported to a more equipped hospital, Mark was placed in isolation, where he received treatment for the virus ravaging his hand, thankfully, the medication proved effective in halting the virus's progression, within days, the tide began to turn, and the damage inflicted upon his hand started to reverse, yet, lingering questions remained regarding the source of his affliction, conducting a thorough search of the trail, the officers eventually unearthed a native plant believed to be the culprit, after testing confirmed its role in Mark's ordeal, the plant was swiftly eradicated, ensuring no further cases would arise, with the ordeal behind him, Mark embarked on a journey of recovery, within a month, he was once again in good health, eager to resume his normal life, including the prospect of dating, the resolution of his harrowing experience brought about a sense of relief and closure to an ordeal that had tested him to his limits, overall, the story is a compelling narrative of resilience in the face of adversity, underscored by the importance of swift action and cooperation in combating unexpected challenges, above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.